Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a tracking like this one. <laughs> yes, it's a smurf. To make this video we need three steps. The first one is to make the tracking in Bushu. The second step is to create the 3D object and to put it in the scene thanks to 3ds Max. And the last step is to make a composition of everything to have our final video in After Effect. Well, let's begin with Buju. We go here in Heport Sequence. We try to find our sequence. It's here. It's a PNG sequence for me. I open it. And we have to know the frequency, the frame rate of our video. I know mine is about 30 and I see here 24. I'm going to change it. 30. I have to respect my frame rate. Free move. It's okay. And I go on apply. Okay, my scene is here, but as you can see, he made the frame rate as 25. I said 30. Apply again. It's a little bug, so you have to do it twice. Okay, close. As you can see, I have my scene here, it's moving, right, and I'm going to make the tracking. I go on Track Features, I go on Advanced, and make the sensibility in maximum, alright. Let's start. Okay, my tracking is done. As you can see, we have some dots, red dots, and when we move it, we see the dots moving. It is our tracking point. Alright, it is a little mess as you can see, so we're going to solve this. We go on camera solve and this is going to simplify the tracking. I select optimize camera path smoothness. Start. I wait. It's faster and it's okay. As you can see, it is simplified. When I move, the dots move with my scene. Now we're going to say to Buju how to find the X, Y, and Z axis. We go here on Scene Geometry. We click on Add Chord, Origin, and we're going to find the origin point. What is the origin point? It is the point which is at the origin, of course, of the Y, Z, and X axis, and this is the place where we're going to put our object in 3ds Max. I choose this point by example, and I click on Connect to select it. All right, I create another one, add chord. I choose X axis, and I choose two points. On 3ds Max, this is the X axis. I click on connect to select. So I create another one, the Y axis, and I choose this point and this point. This is the Y axis on 3ds Max. I click on connect to selected and I click on update chord frame and I close. We can take a look here. I hold shift, right click and I move and we can see this is a mess. <laughs> Why? Because the Y, Z and X axis are really different on Buju and on 3ds Max. But don't worry, we're going to export this and this is going to be good in 3ds Max. So, go here and we make export camera we choose here 3ds max ms all right we go on bruise and we save it all right move type is moving camera static scene it's okay and we're going to change here the scale because it's too big we're going to make 100 we save now see you on 3ds Max. Welcome back, we are in 3ds Max. Okay, I go 
to take the script I created with Buju. I click, I deplace it, I put it in the perspective view. Oh, and what is that? Alright, it is a bug. We have a bug because we used Buju 5 and there is a bug in the scripts exported with Buju 5. We say OK and we're going to make some changes in the script. We put here an arrow, as you can see. We go here on this line and we type less less. We go here to less less. File set has and we're going to replace the file. Yes, yes, I close. I go back here, I put it in the perspective view, and here it is, our camera, our dots, our tracking points, and it's okay. We go here, and we change, and we go on camera, and as you can see, it's magic. We have our camera movements. Now I'm going to import my 3D Smurf. I go and import merge. I take my max file. I choose the object which is the Smurf. Hola Mr. Smurf. Alright, now I'm going to add a light. Uh, I'd like just to say that I use the, the V-Ray engine. Some people may use other engines. So for me it's V-Ray. I take a Vira light, I put it here, I move it, I move it, I make a rotation in front of the smurf and rotation here. Right, I go here on modify. Invisible. Okay, it's okay. I'm going to create another Vira light, which is going to be behind. Okay, move and rotate. All right. Invisible, it's okay. If you want, you can make your background here on your camera view and you can put it here in the environment. I haven't done it because I exactly know what I do. Now we're going to put the shadows on the floor which are going to appear in the final scene. Alright, for this geometry. I make a simple plane I put my plane I go here on material editor standard I choose V-Ray material wrapper alright discard ok and you're going to follow exactly what I do to make it work. <laughs> Alright. Deselect, deselect, receive GI. We put mate surface. We choose shadows, affect alpha. For the alpha contribution, we do less one. And here, in the base material, we're going to choose a V ray material. And we do nothing. We go back and we put it on the floor and I'm not going to show you here but we're going to have her shadows alright now we're going to make the render I'm not going to give you many parameters on lights because it is a tutorial on uh, tracking and I'm not going to spend time in this tutorial about lights it is up to you to use your parameters of light to make real compositions. Alright, I just have to say you to go in render environment and if you have chosen an environment map, you have to deselect it because we're going to make a render in a black background. Alright, 
uh, I go here on render setup I choose indirect illumination I put it on irradiance map secondary bands is known I it's okay as I said normally we have to take care about the light parameters but I'm not going to do it here so active time segment it's okay size it's okay save file I'm going to save my video in PNG sequence because PNG are really good and it is better to to use it in after effect I type smurf okay and we're going to do the render so now see you in after effect we are now in after effect where we're going to make the final composition of her scene okay let's make a right click here import file I choose the first image of my PNG sequence of the background PNG sequence is okay open I do the same for my smurf smurf first image PNG sequence okay open alright now I'm going to check if my frame rate is respected I make a right click here interpret footage main 30 frames per second it's okay I check the smurf to interpret footage main 30 frames per second it's okay alright now I take the parking background I put it here that creates here the composition parking my background I take my smurf I superpose it really precisely on the background and tada my smurf is on the floor and we have the shadows here I just have to make a curves here on the effects because my smurf is too lightened I make it darker and that's better good yes everything is okay we're going to make here a preview it's okay here it is we have our tracking smurf on the floor alright this could be better but uh, as I said in 3ds max it is up to you to choose the lights parameters to make it really real <laughs> alright I hope this tutorial helped you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and see you later bye